the 2008 SEC home opener for the Florida Gators. After a big win in Knoxville last weekend, the Gators return home. They march their way into Florida Field, the swamp, as they get set to take on Houston Nuts. Ole Miss Rebels, a club that comes in two and two on the year, while the Gators are ranked fourth in the country and have yet to have been beaten. They are three and zero oh. off the field. All right, Buzz, we are underway as Florida defers. They will kick off, and Mike Wallace takes the kickoff out to the 20 and stumbles out to the 21-yard line. So Jevin Sneed under center, handoff. Maybe a yard for Cordera Eason. All have the capability of taking it back to the house, as we saw in the opener against Hawaii. Another run out of the shotgun. Four-man rush. They'll swing it near side. Pass is caught by McCluster, but he is denied yards against the Volunteers. James runs up to the 35, bobbles it. Called for the fair catch. Trophy campaign, but still coaches say that he's been very effective. First pass, going deep. It is incomplete. Tied in. That handoff goes to Keiston Moore. On a third down and long for Florida. Across the middle. That pass is caught. And how about Riley Cooper? One. And he does. And he picks up the first down. Here's Harmon dancing around the midfield. The game to try to salt the game away. Little option to Harmon. There goes Percy. Down to the 37-yard line. A little slow to get back, but boy, he looks like he's 100%. Chris Rainey now loses a couple of yards. Tebow stands tall, fires. Pass is caught down at the 28-yard line. Cooper in motion, but they'll hand it to Rainey. Nothing happening. I think he lost a yard. Academic issues. Ebo on fourth down, pressure comes, he's hit hard, incomplete, and the Rebels stand tall and stop the Gators. They've really been wanting to have, and boy, it's a beautiful building they have added to the stadium. Ole Miss takes over, Dexter McCluster. Brandon Bolden this time, out near the 40-yard line. Bolden in alongside Steve. He'll get the handoff, and he probably got back to the line of scrimmage. Rob Park back to punt it away again. And it's a fake. Lionel Bro will pick up the first down, and the Rebels are in Gator territory. Like an extension of the Wild Rebel formation right here as he laddles the Bro coming back around the other way. Joe Hayden does an excellent job on special teams to get over and knock him out of bounds. He lost it up. The yeah, Houston Nut team is a good team. And a good pass and catch. Devin Sneed. Out of the wild rebel formation. To the near side. Down the middle passes. Caught it to 10. Down to the two yard line goes Shea Hodge. From the two, handoff off the right side. Enrique Davis denied. It's Sneed on the keeper. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Point after. It is up and good. To kick it off. James and Moore back to return it, and that will sail out of bounds. In the show. First and ten, Gators, Tebow to throw again. Pass intended for Cooper near midfield. Incomplete. There's trail for the first time this year, and John Jerry, the big offensive guard for Ole Miss, has gone to the locker room. That was Ashley Palmer trying okay. to change. Number on the defense, number 11, five yards from the previous spot. Second and ten, the second and five now. Tebow will keep it. First down, Florida. Out to the Ole Miss 46 yard line. Guy that accumulated 55 total touchdowns a year ago. He will carry it on first down and get a couple of yards. A 
another option to the far side. Emmanuel Moody inside the 40, driving. And a big hit at the line of scrimmage, but Moody drives his way for the first down. Five receivers, excuse me, a nickel package. And Tebow trying to burn him. Just off the fingertips of Percy Harvin. Five receivers. Pressure comes. Tebow dumps it over the middle. It's Harvin down to the 25-yard line, making the 24. Rainey gets the handoff. Breaks one tackle inside the 20, inside the 15. That's another Gator first down. Gentleman right there in rushing yards. Here's Tebow. Yeah. 86 can play for Ole Miss. Here's Tebow. He can also play, but this time he's swallowed up again. Pressure comes over the middle. Incomplete. Ball just a little bit low. Murphy could not get his hands underneath the football, hit the ground. Jonathan Phillips, four out of four this year. He's now five out of five. Caleb Sturgis down to the five yard line and Mike Wallace. Wallace out to the 25 yard line. He was going to come to Florida, but then a guy named Tim Tebow was being recruited. That caused a change of plans for Jevin Sneed. We can see our Academy Sports down in distance marker. Sneed lofts it up. That's picked off. Major right will set the Gator offense up at the 44 yard line. Major Wright, the free safety in the middle of the field, just playing center field, is going to pick it off. Debo will throw all day. Lofts it up, and that's nearly picked off, but it's caught by Harvin. That will be a Gator touchdown. Doesn't catch the football. He breaks on it, doesn't catch it, and Harvin catches the carom and takes it in the end zone. It's an excellent break by the safety to try to take it away. Phillips with the point after. So Sturgis will kick off again. Mike Wallace, this time from the 10. Mike Wallace, look at the speedster. Wallace across midfield and tackled down at the Gator 43-yard line. 10 for the Rebels. Sneed going up top. Out of the eye formation. Sneed will throw or attempt to throw as he is sacked. And the three-man rush led by who else? Brandon Spikes. Prior to the snap, the layup game, number 36 on the offense. That penalty is five yards from the previous spot. Still fourth down. So the double weapons of James and Percy Harvin won't have the opportunity to return it, but I don't think the Gators will mind. Pressure comes, and Tebow is dropped back at the 30-yard line. By the Gator offense this season. And here comes pressure again. This time they set up a little screen to Harvin. Look at him dance around, but finally, a loose football. Who's got it? I think Ole Miss just picked up the football. Look at our officiating crew down there on the They're going to say Florida has it. Boy, Ole Miss thought they they had it initially. Oh, what a big hit by Harden. Large on that play. Here comes some more pressure. Tebow dancing around. Shovel pass. It's caught by Keaston Moore. He'll be shy of the first down, but heck of an effort by your quarterback. He has not lied to this point. That punt will sail into the end zone off the foot of Jazz Henry. I think it might have something to do with the fact that the defenses are so good. Big guys coming off the edge, causing trouble on both sides of the football here early in this game. Just about 88 yards a game on the ground, fourth best in the country. That handoff off the right side to East, and not much happening there. Well, when you mentioned SEC football, now we can have a substitution problem for Ole Miss. Flag comes down. Right to the snap. Substitution infraction. 12 men in the huddle. Number 25 on the offense. That penalty was five yards from the previous spot. 
It's still third down. Sneed. Hit as he throws. It's incomplete. So Harvin and James back to return this punt. It's a good kick from Rob Park. And James is wrapped up back at the 20. Actually, they'll spot it out the 28-yard line. They'll come near side with it. Here's Percy Harvin. He'll pick up about four and a half, maybe five. Play clock down to two, but they'll get the snap off. And Harvin has it. Dancing around, and he is swallowed up. Is that the best he can do? <laughs> Here's Tebow, a little inside shovel pass to the tight end, Aaron Hernandez, but a flag down. And a loose football, still loose, no whistles. That could be Ole Miss football. Stop by Ole Miss to keep playing to the whistle. An eligible receiver, downfield, number 81 on the offense. That penalty is five yards from the previous spot. There was a fumble on the play, recovered by Ole Miss. The ineligible receiver downfield penalty is declined. Ole Miss football, first and ten. Five yard line with 4.45 to go here in the second quarter. They'll hand it off the right side, pick up about four and a half, maybe five. Second down and a short six. They'll swing it out to the fullback Cook, who dives forward. Down and two. That inside handoff goes to Davis. James will field it at the 11. Split some defenders and great coverage. Has been enough money yet? Not there, man. Angle Moody got to the 25. Bo. Pressure comes again. Tebow hit. That'll be a late hit. Tebow got hit right across the chops. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Number seven on the defense. That penalty is 15 yards added to the end of the run. First down. Boy, there is. That could have been a double play penalty. Not only a late hit, but helmet to helmet. Deep. Tebow throws again. Harvin wide open on the far side. Knocked out of bounds at the 30 by Jamarcus Sanford. Out of his last five, throwing the football. And Ole Miss. Offside. Number 98 on the defense. Five yards from the previous spot. It's still first down. Sacramento. And another offside this time. Looked like Phil Troutwine jumps. Prior to the snap. False start. Number 75 on the offense. That penalty is five yards from the previous spot. It's still first down. Tebow, quick throw over the middle. It's Harvin to the 20. Harvin breaks a couple of tackles. Percy Harvin down to the one yard line. Tebow will keep it to the right side. Touchdown. Going after up and good by Jonathan Phillips. One more. Any game, any pro, any college game. The way the Gators are playing, I'm sure you'll be texting even more. Aaron. Oh, yes. It is so awesome. Great game. Loving it. Well, congratulations to the both of you, Chad. Thanks for being here, and thanks to all town. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Back up to you, David. Scoring drive. We'll get that back up for you in a minute. But there's the late hit. Well, that's just not a very smart play there by John Jones. Personal foul. Late hit out of bounds on the kicking team. 15 yards added to the end of the run. First down. Need in that Ole Miss backfield. Sneed throws behind his intended target on the field. And flags. Prior to the snap, false start. Number 74 on the offense. That penalty is five yards from the previous five. It's still second down. But now it's second and 15. A little inside handoff goes to Bolden. Bolden with plenty of room. Bolden slips a tackle inside the 20. Knocked out of bounds at the 15. A huge run. 42 seconds to go. And a quick play. A little fumble ruski perhaps from Ole Miss. Not much happening. They got it inside the 15. The cluster in motion. They'll pitch it near side. Bolden. He will throw it and a flag comes down. Pass interference. Number three on the offense. That penalty is 15 yards 
from the previous spot. Replay second down. This afternoon's contest. And whistles blow. Ball start. Ball start. Number 50 on the out there. That penalty was five yards from the previous spot. It's still second down. Wow. Sneed. Hit as he throws. It's incomplete. Getting out of field goal range. And now they're going to have to back him up five more. This has been a self destruction offensively. Sneed. Nobody's home. Here's Sneed. Buying some time. Throwing to the end zone. To the back of the end zone and incomplete. Hero will throw. Trying to get down, at least maybe in field goal range. Incomplete with four seconds to go with Cole Miss 30. And that'll do it. Ole Miss jumped out to a 7 to nothing lead here at the Swamp. Justin Sparks will kick it off. That will sail into the end zone and out of the end zone. A perfect kick for Justin Sparks. Justin so the Gators will bring it out to the 20-yard line. In the season for Florida. Here's Harvard. First touch of the second half. Picks up eight. One, Percy Harvard. Loose football. And that's what Ole Miss did. They corralled him and got the football, and they have a turnover to start the second half. Kendrick Lewis comes up with the fumble recovery. Young man puts it on the ground. Big hit inside. Parade Jerry wrapped around the waist. The ball comes out. Good job of hustling. Coughs it up twice. A little bit of reverse. Here's McCluster. Inside the 30. Eason. It's the handoff inside the 25, and that'll fair on defense. Needed a yard. They will spot it close to the 24. If the nose is on that 24, I think they'll have the first down. Change situation that you practice on defense. Just enough for the first down. But... The cluster in motion out of the wild rebel formation. It's the freshman Bolden. Inside the 20 comes McCluster in motion again. Direct snap to Bolden. We'll work the left side. Breaks a tackle. Still driving. And Florida never got him on the ground. Here comes McCluster in motion. The snap to Bolden. He'll keep it working the right side. He might have lost a half a yard. To attempt a 34-yarder. The hold is good and the kick is solid. Brandon James will be pinned about two yards deep in the end zone, and here he comes. Out to the 20. It's four points. Loose football. Ole Miss has it. Can you believe this? Three fumbles from the Gators today. Marcus Tillman comes up with the recovery. Brandon James in the backfield. He's reading the edge. Do I pull it? Do I keep it? James obviously thought he was taking it out. One of them. Here's Snead to throw on first down incomplete. Here's Snead. Quick drop going to the end zone. Batted around incomplete. Here's the screen pass to Kadora Eason. Touchdown, Ole Miss. My goodness. Well, this will be this will be a great angle right here. Well, jumps over Marky Anderson right there. And it looked like he pivoted on that foot at the one and got in. Oh, Joshua Sheen. We are tied at the swamp. Justin Sparks has done an amazing job on kickoffs, kind of pinning James in the corner. This time allows James to take it at the five with a little bit of room. That's always a scary proposition. Not over the 30 to the 32 yard line. We'll take it to 33. Tebow keeps it with a shovel pass to his tight end, Hernandez, and Ole Miss with a swarming defense. That handoff goes to Demps, and it went nowhere. Today. And some movement. Ball start. Number 76 on the offense. Pillow is five yards. Still third down. 
Thanks, Buzz, and they'll throw on third down. And here comes some pressure. Tebow doing all he can to keep it alive, and it's incomplete looking for Keaston Moore. He was well shy of the first down. Before the half, so I don't know the Florida's hand in this game for him. Flag down at the line of scrimmage. An awkward punt. Chaz Henry did all he could just to get rid of the punt. Should A little shift on the offense. That penalty is five yards. Added to the out-of-bounds spot. First down. Sneed throws. Batted out of the air. Quite a moment ago, now making some noise. Here's McCluster. We'll only get a couple on the play. McCluster will throw it. Pass is caught. Jay Hodge inside the 25. Here it is right here. Watch the right hand pin it against the side. His arm is under it. That's got to be a catch. That has got to be a catch. He had his arm underneath. After review, video evidence confirms that the ball hit the ground proud to possession. It is incomplete. The next down will be fourth down. Will this get to the end zone? Yes, it will. In the nick of time, and the Gators will take over at the 20. Here's Harvin. First down to the 33-yard line, a gain of 13. First and 10. Loose football again. That is fumble number five. The Gators have lost three. Over the middle, pass is caught by Lewis Murphy. First down over the 45 to the 47-yard line. Tebow, pressure comes again, he's dropped. And they'll say he's down. Greg Hardy. On a second down and 19. We'll back off pass is caught. I believe Murphy, they'll say incomplete. Out of bounds. Pressure again. Tebow flushed out of the pocket. He's hit and it's incomplete. And you start seeing things that aren't there. Chaz Henry punts it away. Marche Green. Out to the 27 yard line. Here's McCluster in motion. Inside handoff. Taken by Brandon Bolden. Here's McCluster in motion with the inside handoff again. We'll go to Bolden. Up here on third down in the yard. And Bolden dies for the first down. He's not out of the game. Let's see how mobile he is. They're going to throw that way, and the pass is caught at midfield by Dexter McCluster, and that'll be good enough for a Rebel first down in their inside Gator territory. Half minutes to go in the third quarter. McCluster out of the wild Rebel formation, keeps it inside the 45. They get the shotgun snap. Throw it over the middle, pass is caught. Mike Wallace spun backwards at quarterback. He will keep it. Big hole up the middle, McCluster to the 30, still on his feet. He will take it to the house, touchdown Rebels. Trying to put their 24th point on the board, and they do. James will have a great opportunity here for the six yard line. How great? How about out to the 50 yard line? First and ten. They'll fake it to Harvin and then throw it to him. Three, four, five, six white jerseys surround him. Gators get the playoff. It'll be the last one of the third quarter, and it's dropped. Over the middle. Pass is caught at the 41 by Riley Cooper, but he'll be shy of the first down. Here's Tebow, keeps it. He'll power and bowl his way inside the 40. I think that'll be good enough for the first down. Percy Harvin slips his way down to the 25-yard line. High snap, Tebow keeps it alive. Throws it, passes, caught. That'll be uh, caught by his lineman. Illegal touching. On the offense, number 56, 
That penalty is five yards from the previous spot. Replay first down. Buzz, and you would think after what happened to USC on Thursday, it might be a little bit more fire. Lewis Murphy breaks a tackle. Kibo looking, has some time, but now going to have to pull it down and run it. He's got plenty of room to do so. Tebow to the 10, down to the 5. They will spot it at the 3. Tebow will keep it himself. He's at the 1. He'll work the left side. Touchdown, Florida. And we are tied. Beating people on the helmet. This kickoff sails into the end zone, and Mike Wallace takes a knee, and Ole Miss will bring it out to the 20. Dexter McCluster out over the 25 to the 26 yard line. Takes the snap. And is dropped for a loss of six, maybe seven. You're on in. Will fire, hits Eason, but he's two yards shy of the first down. Flags are down. Ball star, number 52 on the offense. That penalty was five yards for the previous spot. It's still fourth down. When they need the big play. Clark averaging just shy of 40 yards a punt. Sends this one down to Brandon James, a big play specialist, looking for another on his resume. Out to the 45-yard line. Total a year ago. Trying to improve on that here at 08. That pass is complete inside the 40 down to the 38 to Percy Harvin. Out to the near side. Here's pressure. Tebow dropped again. The middle pass is dropped. Carl Moore, the junior, 45. Tebow dancing around, trying to buy some time. We'll throw it to Harvin. He's got a lot of yards to pick up for the first down. He'll be nine yards shy. Good coverage by Ole Miss. Try to just pooch it inside the 10. Fair catch called for by Green. He takes it at the 10. Second and six. Nowhere to run for Brandon Bolden. Third and six. Wide open down the far side. Shea Hodge will go the distance. Touchdown, Ole Miss. There are no flags. An eighth touchdown pass of the year for Jevin Sneed. Point after. Up and good. 31 on the day for Ole Miss. Here's James from the 12. Out to the 32-yard line. Over the middle, Aaron Hernandez out to the 45-yard line. And now you're going to see Florida. Harvin in the slot to the near side. Across the middle, he gets the pass. Harvin bouncing off some guys. He's to the 40-yard line. Gain of 15 on the play. Pass caught down at the 30-yard line. They'll spot it inside the 30, so that'll be a first down. Lewis Murphy. Evo looking for him over the middle. Pass is caught down to the 15-yard line. That's another first down. Coverage to the top. Pressure comes from Ole Miss. To the end zone, incomplete. Some more pressure coming. Little option near side. Here's Harvin. Gets a couple of great blocks. Touchdown, Florida. They made it look easy. It's blocked. It sails out of the end zone. Are you kidding me? There was somebody that jumped in the middle, ran up and jumped. Jumped over him. I think he initially thought he was helped over. Kendrell Lockett is the guy that got his hands on it. Moving the football specifically here in the second half. It looked good on that drive. This kick down to the eight yard line. Taken by Mike Wallace. Wallace 
out to the 32 yard line. Brandon Bolden, only a, a yard perhaps. Here's McCluster. The Gators filling up all those gaps. And Jevin Sneed avoided the sack, got it out close to the 40 yard line. He's still two and a half yard shot. The ball the length of the field. A wobbly. It'll be a tough kick for James to field. The Gators will get out of the way. And Boy, an excellent job by Park. 36% of the time. Pass is caught by Harvin out to the 29. And over the middle. Harvin with another catch. First down out to the 42 yard line. Tebow has time. Over the middle. Pass is caught. Down to the 42 yard line by Riley Cooper. Stop. Lost it up over the middle. Tebow lost it up again. They'll try Harvin. Off his fingertips incomplete. 71 seconds to play. Third down and 10. Option near side. Here's Brandon James. James needed to get to the 31. They will spot it right at the 31. He's your Heisman Trophy winner. He'll keep it. Second effort may have gotten it, but I don't know. If he didn't get it, it's your ball game. And Ole Miss will walk out of here with a win. On that play, guys, because what happened? You got your number three left guard in there because of injury for Florida. And it's been a factor in this one. That's everything we heard about was how much the attitudes change. We feel like we can win whenever we go somewhere. Well, the clock hits zero. Houston Nutt with his first signature win as the Ole Miss Rebel head coach. They shot Florida 31 to 30 here at the Swamp. Wow.